So I have another example of a test that's failing on the Mac. This one's pretty simple. It brings up the to do MVC application, creates a to do, then tries to edit it. This works fine on the Windows PC again, but it doesn't work on the Mac. So my initial assumption is this is probably going to be because of a non specific locator again, because that's the lesson we learned last time we were looking at Mac differences. So if I jump through into the place in the abstraction where it happens, you can see that what we're doing in here, there's a whole bunch of abstraction layers, but essentially at some point we're trying to edit the item. So if I jump through into that, now what I'm finding interesting here, let me just make this a little bit more visible. What I find interesting here is that because of the use of the actions, I'm tempted to immediately blame actions for not working correctly. Right, that would if that would be my default for this because actions I tend not to I tend not to trust very much. I, I view it as making my tests uh, flaky. I don't really like using actions, but sometimes I have no choice. Particularly with AJAX applications, I have no choice. So my bias, because I, I don't like actions very much, is to blame actions. However, because in a preceding investigation, we discovered that on the Mac, I really need to make my locators as specific as possible. That is helping me look at that option first. So you can see here that what I'm doing is finding a bunch of things. I do that up here with the get to do items in a particular state, find me a bunch of things in a particular state. So what I want to do is have a look at that because you can see later on having got the actions I pick the one that I'm expecting then I do a double click on it but you can also see that down here having double clicked on it I use the action that I found then do a find element underneath it to get the input and edit field so what I'm really wondering is perhaps I'm double clicking on the wrong thing perhaps on Windows when I double click on a web element the double click propagates down element in the DOM chain to the one that will handle the double click effectively. But perhaps on the Mac, that downward propagation is not happening. So let's double check that theory and see if we can do something special here. So I'm going to click through and see what this visible state is and go off to the to do MVC. There is an item that I can edit by double clicking. So let's just have a quick look at that in the DOM. So we can see here that what my CSS selectors are currently targeting are the to do list, then within it, the list items, but underneath that list item, I've got a div. And then within it, I've got a label. So perhaps what I really want to do is target the double click event at that label. So let me do that instead. Let me jump back to the right place. So I'm still going to find the uh, the list items because the rest of my code depend on the, the list items. But what I'm going to do here is on the double click, I'm just going to say for that list item, find an element underneath it using the CSS selector. But I want to find a div, which has as an immediate child, a label. And let's click on that label. Let's use that functionality instead. And let's see if that makes a difference to my test. So I come in, I create a to do item. And then it's edited, and the window closed. So that was good. So again, what was happening on the Mac, I need to be more specific in the elements that I'm finding. So I need to find the correct element that I want to send that event that double click event to. 